Hello there. Welcome to part two of the video about this Aachen Philips Aachen Super D60 radio. Um, in addition to the first video, I now put it out of the cabinet that we can have a better look uh, on the insides of this old radio was built in the years 1939 and 1940. So we can see here the original color of the fabric and yeah, then let's have a look on the back side. So here is the radio from the back side. Uh, now we can see what's inside. These are the different coils. This is the uh, medium wave oscillator coil and tuning capacitor. This is the main tuning capacitor. Um, these two coils are for the uh, medium wave antenna circuit uh, and these two are uh, the IF transformers. This one is for the blocking circuit of the IF and these two cans behind are the two uh, wet electrolytic capacitors which I refilled with modern capacitor. Here we can see the EFM11 combined magic eye and preamplifier tube. In the back are two new capacitors and you can see the blue resistor. Um, so this is uh, the right configuration. Um, in the user manual or in the service manual there is a, a picture of it which is not correct. So here we have the power transformer and this is uh, the output transformer and here we have the, the potentiometer of uh, the tone control. Yeah. Okay, here we can see the wheel of the tuning capacitor. There is a, no, it's not good to see too dark um, but this one is turned by a rope and um, which goes to the underside of uh, the chassis and um, there is connected the iron or steel wire which uh, turns the let me see if you can see it, how it when it turns. Uh, okay, here is uh, the mechanism. When you dial, uh, you can see how this spring is loaded and unloaded if you turn uh, the needle back. So that's pretty much it. Now we can we'll have another look uh, on the underside, so we can see a little bit more of the transformer and the other thing, things we couldn't see when the radio was in the cabinet in the first part. So here is uh, the underside of the chassis, um, which we already had a look on in the at the first part of the video. I'll see a little bit
flow so how everything is wired up. So this is the underside of the main power transformer and here you see the combined on-off switch and volume control. And there are also two new capacitors nearby. This is the, out the output transformer, the underside and here we have the other side and here are the three wires which uh, are connected to the um, feedback controls of the, uh, the tone control. So the last thing which I think is a little bit of interest is this uh, safety connector for the from the power cord um, this is usually fixed to the the back panel uh, so that you cannot uh, remove the back panel without disconnecting the mains so So now I put the screw off and we can put it aside. So what we can see here um, are the two wires from the plug and these connectors come in here like this to keep um, to connect two pins to connect these two pins, this one and this one on each side, and this is these, these are the pins where the mains are connected. So here is a, a plate, so you can see there is uh, an AC and an DC sign, so uh, in former times there were DC mains uh, grids so um, there were two ways to wire this up and if you had uh, DC mains uh, there was an uh, additional part which made uh, AC out of DC and then the switch had to be connected in another way. So okay that's it for the moment thank you for watching and I hope you had a little bit fun with part two of my documentation of this old Philips Aachen Super D60. Thank you and bye bye.